we have, and it's just a room with beds in it, and this is obviously the locker rooms. And in this room is the paramedic bunk room. This is where the two guys in the rescue rig sleep. Right. The bathroom here is a separate, has a separate bathroom. This is where the females, if we have a, our female firefighters working, she'll use that bathroom. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Okay. But the, the paramedics have their own bunk room here. As we step down further, this is the locker room. There's nobody here to worry about it. A uh, bathroom with showers. This is the lieutenant of the engine company. This is his bunk room. All right. It's got a little bit of a little bit of everything in here. Um, it used to have three beds in here, but because of staff reductions, now it's only one. And the, the lieutenant sleeps in here by himself. He doesn't have to listen to anybody else's snoring. All right. It's all it's all his own. Next to in the next room. Yeah. In the next room is the firefighters bunk room. There's five beds in here. You can be sleeping with uh, four other people. And it does get loud at night when, when somebody has a snoring issue. All right? Anything that you see here as far as TVs and stuff, That's nice too. <coughs> the guys purchased themselves. The city doesn't buy that. Okay? The guys purchase, they get together and throw their money together and purchase things themselves. Cool. All right? So, the... All the chairs and stuff that you see, the reclining chairs, are not purchased by the city. They're purchased by uh, the Firemen's Association. Okay, um, they're nice to have, but as you can see, we are so busy that we're hardly ever here anymore. It's rare that the guys get to rest. Okay, what we have out here is the apparatus floor. Central Park Pond or out in the river, we have equipment to throw into the, one of the vehicles and actually get you out. We also have a boat for the summertime. The city fire department has a boat that's on the river. So we do, we do have a boat and we do water rescue. The mannequin here is used for training. This guy weighs 165 pounds. What our guys do is actually pick him up and drag him across the floor. Um, they get used to carrying people. They drag them. So that's why he's dressed in, he's in, in an old set of turnout gear to try to preserve the mannequin. But he weighs about 165 pounds. We have our apparatus, which you have in front of you. What we have out here in front of you, the one closest to the wall is an engine company. The big one with the, the bucket on the back is a ladder truck. A truck They do two different functions. The engine puts water on the fire, the truck vents the roof, takes out windows and does the rest of The little uh, board there is the paramedic grid up there. All the rigs are right in front of the doors and the front line that uh, That's the paramedic rig, that's a two-person car. Uh, a paramedic, a little kind of paramedic. They do medical calls, but they are also first in to the front door on the fire. Their job is search and rescue. So when you think of paramedics, we're not just doing EMS, we're also doing fire services. Okay. On the apparatus floor, obviously, we've got our filling stations for oxygen and our SCBA bottles, our breathing air. And then, uh, is Ninja Ford here? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're actually going to see what the Ninja Company does. Okay. So let's just walk right up between the two rigs and go right out front and you'll see the, the engine. Kids, come on up here. 
I talk loud, but I don't like to yell. All right, what's going to happen is we're going to show you a demonstration of what we do. What we have here is inch cover number the floor. Inch cover the floor protects the high school. This is the engine company that's over by Ellis Hospital, Avenue A, and Hattie Street. Lieutenant Teets. Lieutenant Teets is the officer today on the rig. Firefighter Komazinski is the medic today. Is the firefighter paramedic. Lieutenant Teets is also a paramedic. Who you got with you, Tim? Firefighter O'Connor. And he's got Firefighter O'Connor, who is also another paramedic. So there are three medics on this rig who are also firemen. All right, or firemen who are also medics. What they are wearing is their protective gear. That's the turnout gear. On their back is the air pack that we wear. They breathe off of it. What we're doing is start the line with open water. Not a lot of pressure. Yeah. All right. If you want to go over there and work the line, you can. Go with the lieutenant and the firefighter, and they'll, they'll put you through it and put hands on. More than welcome to go over. Yeah. Come on, Mike. Anybody else? 